My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. In this video, I'll show you how to host a website on Lokinet and get a human readable address for it. Websites and other services that run over Lokinet are collectively called snaps in Lokinet lingo. To start, you need a computer to host the snap with. It could be a computer that you have laying around or a VPS or virtual private server at a hosting company. You can host the snaps with various versions of Linux. But it's going to be the easiest if you stick with Debian for the Snap hosting server, as that's what the developers use. At this time, November of 2023, the best choice is Debian version 12. First, we need to open deb.oxen.io with your favorite web browser and follow the instructions there to set up the Oxen repository and install Lokinet. Make an SSH connection to the computer you're going to be hosting the Snap in and run these commands. You can just copy and paste them from the web page. I'll have the commands in the description of this video too. The first command downloads the public signing key for the repository. The second command sets up the repository in sources.list. The third command reads the contents of the Oxen repository. Then install Lokinet with this command. Once the installation completes, then edit the lokinet.ini file. Scroll down to the network section and add these two lines. This first line makes the Lokinet address permanent, otherwise the address would change every time you reboot. The second line defines an IPv4 address to the Lokinet interface. You want the address to be an RFC 1918 private network address, preferably in the 10.0.0.0 range or in the 172.16.0.0 range. Save the file and restart Lokinet to get the new permanent Lokinet address. Then verify that you can ping addresses on the Lokinet, such as nemomail.loki. Nemomail is an anonymous email service from privacyproshop.com. Find out more about it at nemomail.me. The next step is to find the Lokinet address for your snap with this command. As you can see, the Lokinet addresses are rather cryptic, so here is how you can get a human-readable Lokinet domain name. Next, you need to get the Oxen wallet on your desktop computer. If you use a Debian-based Linux like Ubuntu, Pop! OS, or Linux Mint, and you already have the Oxen repository set up, just run this command. The other way to get the wallet is to go to oxen.io and download the wallet you want. They have Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and iOS wallets available. Any of them will work for this. I'll be using the Linux app image wallet that works with any version of Linux for this demonstration. The Linux app image wallet needs the executable bit set before it runs. Right click on top of it and choose properties. Click on permissions tab and check the box that says execute, allow executing file as a program and click close. Then run the Oxen wallet app. Choose your language. Accept the default values on the following page and click Next. Click to create a new wallet, give it a name, give it a password if you like, and click Create Wallet. Save the seed words in a safe place. Then click Open Wallet. Leave the Oxen wallet open for now. Then head on over to privacyproshop.com, scroll down to Lokinet domain name, and click on Select Options. Choose the duration you want and click Add to Cart and pay for the purchase with a credit card or with various cryptocurrencies. Once the transaction completes, on the Order Received page, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the Lokinet domain name registration form. Write down the order number and confirmation code. If you provided an email address when you purchased this, you will also have this in your email. Click Continue to Registration. In the desired domain name, type in the Lokinet domain you'd wish to buy, and once you move to another field, it'll perform a lookup on that name to see if it's available. Once you find the address you like, go back to your Oxen wallet, click on the Copy Address button to the right of the wallet address, and paste the wallet address to the Wallet Address field. Then go back to your terminal window and copy the cryptic Lokinet address of your snap without the dot Loki as that will be automatically added to it. Paste it into the Lokinet address field. Once everything looks good, click on the Register My Lokinet Domain Name button. 
After the registration completes, you can verify it at oxen.observer that the new .loki domain is active by searching for it. It might take up to two minutes for the registration to show up. Next, go back to your SNAP server and install Nginx or another web server. In this case, I'll be setting up Nginx to listen only on LokiNet. Type this command to install Nginx. Then edit the Nginx default configuration file. Change the listen line to 10.20.30.1 colon 80. Then comment out the IPv6 line below it. You can ignore all of the SSL stuff as there is no need to use SSL because LokiNet is already encrypted. Make the server underscore name line look like this. Of course, change the address to whatever LokiNet domain name you purchased. Save and exit the file, then reload the Nginx configuration. Now try to access the server and you should see the Welcome to Nginx page and your new snap is now active on LokiNet. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in digital privacy, LokiNet, Session Messenger, cryptocurrencies, or other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. And, as always, have a happy day!